At least 28 people are confirmed dead after Monday's fatal accident at the Sayana Shushinska power station in southern Siberia. Emergency crews are still searching the hydroelectric plant for around 40 people who remain unaccounted for. Prime Minister Vladimir Putin has called for compensation available to affected families to be increased. Otis Sean Thomas is following the story in the Russian Republic of Hakassia. Well, as you know, Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin has spent the majority of the day here at the Sayano Shushkinsaya hydroelectric plant here in Hakashia. Now, he went on a tour of the machine room with the emergency minister, and in fact, he uh, spent the time talking to emergency workers and seeing exactly what was happening on the ground. After that, he had some very important words to say. He uh, said that Rus Hydro's decision to pay families one million rubles was a good one, but it wasn't exactly enough. And in fact, families who are waiting to hear if their loved ones have passed or who have actually been confirmed dead will be receiving 2 million rubles. Now, if you remember, in the immediate uh, aftermath of the accident, uh, energy prices here in the area uh, jumped to five times that of normal. Now, uh, Vladimir Putin says that that's just unacceptable. And in fact, he has uh, developed a special commission to make sure that those prices are regulated so that the people here living in the area and the five major companies that rely on the Sino Shushkin Saya hydroelectric power uh, will not have to pay more for electricity. Now, the people at Rus Hydro is saying that this is going to take uh, maybe even up to four years once the debris is cleared uh, to get the plant operating back to normal power. But uh, Putin has actually said that one of the things that we need to do as an entire country is make sure that the infrastructure uh, around the entire country is, has, is overhauled and is checked to make sure that emergencies like this do not happen again. Here's what he had to say about that. We have several versions of what could have caused the tragedy. I insist that we need to know exactly what happened here so we are able to avoid the same mistakes in the future. There is no evidence here at the plant of a terrorist activity having taken place. And of course, as time goes by and as the investigation continues, we'll learn more as to the exact causes of why that hydro blast took place. But uh, officials here are saying that there is no evidence of terrorist activity.